Hey everybody, it's Kathy here with Crunchy Cleaning by Kathy. I own an eco-friendly cleaning business here in the Poconos, Pennsylvania. Hope you can hear me okay. It's a gorgeous day and my boys are back to school so I wanted to do a video outside so I can enjoy the, the outdoors in peace <laughs> without my boys while they're enjoying school. So anyway, I wanted to do a quick video on um, how to preserve and store your oils, your essential oils. So citrus oils have a shelf life of about five to 10 years. <laughs> you heard it, five to 10 years for essential oils, uh, citrus based. So that would be your lemon, your lime, um, your jade lemon, your citrus fresh, your orange. So those citrusy oils will last five to 10 years if stored correctly. Uh, other essential oils will last uh, infinite, literally forever, but you need to store them correctly. So what do I mean by storing them correctly? Uh, well, you wanna keep them upright. Uh, you wanna have them in an amber brown or dark blue um, glass bottle. Uh, if it comes that way, that's even better. You do not want to have them in direct sunlight. So even though it may be pretty to showcase them on your windowsill, don't. Because the sunlight will change the properties of the oil and they won't last as long and they won't be as strong or they won't be as good. So avoid oils, or I'm sorry, avoid sunlight for your oils. Uh, keep them in a shaded dark area. Avoid heat. Don't put them by a heat source, like a heater, uh, a microwave. Um, you know, just avoid heat, avoid direct sunlight. So you wanna keep them kind of in a dark place or um, a cool environment. In your home is fine. Just again, avoid sunlight and, um, and heat. So with citrus oils, I've heard, I've heard and I've read that to keep them even fresher, just like any kind of citrus, if you refrigerate it and keep it colder, cooler, it'll even last longer or just help preserve it better. Um, and I do like my citrus oils colder because if I'm gonna be drinking it, it, it you know, orange, that's cool. Um, if you put that in your tea, it does taste good, I think, or lemon. So what I like to do is I have a little pouch here. Uh, this is a Young Living pouch that they sell, so you can buy that as well. Uh, you can even clip it onto something if you want. It has a little built-in carabiner. But this is one of the pouches. And there's other um, essential oil pouches out there as well. But I like this one from Young Living. It has a little compartment back here as well. And it holds 10 oils. So these are my citrus oils that I keep in the refrigerator. So I have lemon, lemon, lemon. <laughs> can you tell I like lemon? Uh, citrus Fresh orange, lime, jade lemon, lime, orange, and grapefruit. So these are my citrus oils and I keep them in my refrigerator. Um, I keep them in the, that like side compartment when you first open the door, I keep them there. Um, so whenever we're gonna have seltzer water, I tell my husband, oh, go get the lime oil out so he knows where it's at. Um, and then we just put a couple drops of lime into our seltzer water and it's fantastic. So um, if you have citrus oils, it, they, they're even, they're better preserved if you keep them fresh. So um, you can also use cute little baskets like this for your oils, the ones that are not gonna be in the refrigerator. Um, I love my little wicker baskets. I don't have my oils in here anymore because now I have them on this really cool spinning caddy that I got from Amazon. Um, I made a video about that too. So if you want to know about that, let me know and I'll put the link for that so you could see how cool it is. Or you can also get a pretty wooden box. Isn't that pretty? It has essential oils on it. It's a, oh, I think it's pine. It smells amazing. But I think I got this one. Oh yeah, I got this one off of Amazon. I'm trying to open it here for you. So it holds, I think, 48 oils. So you see how they would all stay upright. Oh yeah, that's another thing too. The ones, the ones in this little pouch thing, they sit upright. See how it's, it's made. You don't wanna lay them down flat because you don't wanna have any accidental leaking or anything like that. So keep them upright. So you can use an essential oil box like this. I personally love wood. 
and natural elements, so wicker, wood, that's just my thing. Um, so you could store your oils like that, or um, when you get the premium sampler kit, or even when you get the basic kit, the basic kit that comes with stress away oil, you'll get this. So um, it'll help you build your collection. Um, this is how you get the premium sampler kit. Um, so it holds 10 essential oils. See that? And this like little cardboard thing. Um, and it holds the five milliliter oils. And then in the back, you just kind of bring that down together and then it stands upright. So you can display your oils upright. And then you could just fold it back down if you don't want to use it. And then that's it, it's just flat. So those are just a couple different options on how to um, store your oils. So if you have any other suggestions or ideas on how to keep your oils nice and pretty and stored and organized, drop me a line or if you have any questions, uh, drop me a line too. All right, take care guys, bye.